Uh, once you come to the library, there is a self-return machine outside. You can always return your books, no matter what time is it. And now we are coming inside. Uh, you can see the space design of the front hall creates a really calming atmosphere. And uh, we can keep going and you will see a checkpoint in, uh, in this place. Uh, as an university library, it mainly, uh, our library mainly serves NTU members, including our students, faculty, and alumni. Meanwhile, this library opens to the public. Uh, as you know, public readers who are 18 years old are able to apply for uh, the one-day pass at this checkpoint, and they can use their student card, uh, personal ID, draft license, even passport. But those visitors are not allowed to bring their personal belongings, uh, belongings inside. So. Uh, if you are our students, I, I'm sure that you are our student, but you are first time here. You can you can see this is our checkpoint, and there are several ways for the NTU members to pass the checkpoint. Okay, I will I will show you how can you come inside this library. First, you can tap your NTU car, ID card, and the second, find our library online or download our N, NTU library app. Then you are able to activate the mobile ID to enter this library. It's very, uh, it's very convenient. And once you come inside, you will see the information desk here. What's, uh, what's the information desk? You can ask any question here. For example, how to find a specific book in this library or what database you can use for your studies, such a um, question like that. Uh, a reminder here, this information desk will be relocated due to uh, the remodel project. So I will also show you where the information desk will be in this, uh, in this online tour. And there is a library model next to the information desk. And now here's the brief, uh, brief history about this library. Okay. Uh, National Taiwan University was established in 1928 as the Taihoku Imperial University by the Japanese colonial government. The original main library was built in the same year and uh, the location is near the main entrance of the campus and it has become the NTU History Gallery since 2005. This new main library uh, was opened in 1998 and was designed in the spirit of the original one, which is robust and symmetrical. It retained uh, the arched windows, gables, and the piazza. In initially, there were going to be a kind of uh, 76 little bells, also known as carillon, that would ring on special occasions, but due to the limited budget, the bells never arrived, so we sometimes joke about that it's a, a tower bell. Uh, it's a bell tower without any bell in it. And also to elevate users' experience, we have developed this kind of AR technology around this library. You can use the library app to initiate this function. Then you will see such a digital content. Anywhere you see this AR sign in the library, just try it. So this is the uh, AR technology in this library. You can see some uh, introduction and some video in this uh, in your mobile. Okay, next library layouts. Uh, there are five floors and one basement in this library. Overall, we have more than 8.4 million of collection, including print materials and digital resources. I will introduce these floors briefly and show you how they really look like uh, later in this tour. I don't want to, you know, spoil alert. Because of the remodeling project, there are only circulation service on the first floor. So if you come to the library, please go to other floors to do your work. Uh, the collections of humanities and the social sciences are on the second floor. Also, newspapers are also on this floor too, as well. And the periodicals, also known as academic journals and the reference collection are on the third floor. As for the collections of science and technology, they are on the fourth floor. Also, the multimedia center is on this floor. 
And I must say that this library has its own very special collections, such as rare and thread bound books in Chinese, Japanese, and the Western languages. Its uniqueness uh, attracts many international scholars to come to visit. And if you are interested in this kind of priceless collections, welcome to stop by. I must say certain of the most popular spaces in this library are 24 hour study room and a discussion area. And I will show you later as well. So now we are moving forward inside the library and I can show you some highlights of our National Taiwan University Library Remodeling Project. First, there will, be, uh, there will be a service counter on the right side. You can borrow and return books and this counter. And uh, because the information desk will be relocated, uh, be relocated to here, you can also ask for professional assistance if you have any problem assessing library resources. As for this main area on this side, it will be a digital media commons. Uh, this place will be reconstructed in a relaxing vibe. Users may enjoy diverse uh, audiovisual materials and self learning here. You can see there's individual seat and some group use area. Then a brand new central stair will show up after this remodel. Readers can have a wonderful reading moment on the stair. It will change the atmosphere in this library. You can see there will be a very big central stair in this library. And uh, there will be a multifunctional commons on the other side. There will adjustable structures. Users can always find a space which fits their needs. Also, users are very encouraged to communicate with others uh, in these kind of spaces. Finally, on the back side of this library, we remain the original space, but add certain elements to it. As a result, the corner will be perfect for small exhibitions or seminars. So I think you can say the whole remodeling project really shapes a dynamic and interactive environment in this library. So afterwards, we are moving to the third floor. But before that, I have to introduce some facilities for you guys. First, there are self-checkout machines on the first, the second, and the fourth floors. They are very easy to use. But please note that uh, these kind of machines only work with the physical NTU cards. Mobile ID is not available on such self-checkout machines. Meanwhile, there are also uh, book sterilizers on the same floors. You can see the brief and the light will help books stay clean. So, uh, let's keep moving to the third floor. Okay, there are four discussion rooms in this library. You must make an online reservation first, then use this kind of machine to complete the check-in process. In addition to the discussion rooms, this library provides 66 study carrots for PhD students, professors, and the researchers. These carrots are only available with online reservations as well. Yeah, and you can find all the uh, reservation details on our library website. Now we are watching the reference collections area. Uh, you can, uh, I don't know if, um, I wonder if you know what, uh, what is reference collection, so I can explain it to you. Reference collection is kind of uh, encyclopedia, dictionary, and so on. This kind of collection is for common use, so you can only use them in this library. You are not able to borrow them out. And if you need certain pages, you may do some copies in the copy room next to this area. But remember not to violate copy, uh, copyright rules, which means you, uh, you are not allowed to copy um, too much amount of light book. And the next to the reference collection is the course reserves area. Additionally, there are this kind of course reserves in this area. They are assigned readings of specific courses. So uh, it means that teachers may ask librarians for organizing such a list and uh, placing the readings here. So if you uh, if you join certain course, you can find the uh, the assigned reading of the course in this area. 
Now I'm going to show you the discussion rooms and the feature space of this library. Okay, the discussion room are on the back side of the second and the third floors in this library. Facilities are different in each room, so uh, please make sure that you are online reserving the right unit. And the next to the discussion room, there is a place which is called uh, NTU Collected Works which is very essential to this university. And uh, uh, the design here is full of features. This place archives applications by authors associated with NTU, who are faculty, staff, alumni, and current students. This space is made for 20,000 volumes of books. The overall design of this area is kind of British style. The main color here is dark green to present a calming and a solemn atmosphere. So you are very welcome to visit here someday by yourself. The vibe here is very unique from outside other uh, places in this library. This, uh, this is another discussion room here. You can see the facilities are different. Now uh, we are here to fulfill the user's very, uh, various needs for studying. Such e-corners are very uh, per, uh, are very important for users to do their work with laptops or portable devices without uh, worrying, interrupt others who want to study quietly. So you can go to the back side of this library from second to fourth floor for such e corner. A reminder for you here, there are no foods and drinks in this library. The library provides drinking fountains on the back side, so you are free to fill up bottles here. Remember, no hamburger, no fries. Anyways, there is no food in this library. And now we are moving to uh, the fourth floor. Uh, one of the most essential spaces in this library is the multimedia center. Everyone should place their bags and their personal belongings into the locker before entering, no matter uh, you are an uh, NTU member or not. Although this center will move to the first floor after uh, the remodeling project, you are still welcome to visit here before that. The audiovisual collection in this center uh, is more than 80,000 items, including CD, VCD, and DVDs. There is also a library selection of music at the entrance for you to pick up. And there are new arrivals and the course reserves. Uh, I, there are, I have to remind you that there are two copyright versions of audiovisual collections. One is for library use, which can be only watched inside this center or played in public events with previous application. The other is for home use, which means users must borrow them out and watch them privately. Also, there are course reserves in this center. Teachers can propose audiovisual items as assigned materials, and then will and uh, those kind of course reserves will be displayed in this center. One of the featured collection in the center is vinyl record. You can borrow one. You can borrow one and listen to it in this center. And as you see, this site is for self-learning. You can bring your own devices and do digital learning in this center as well. Except for individual use, there are group area in the center as well. You can make an online reservation for it and invite your friends to watch news or movies with you. The other side is for enjoying music and uh, movies. So you can see, you can listen to broadcasts, have even cassettes in this area. And now we are going to the basement. As you see, there are so many books here in this library for you to discover. I think you can, you can obtain a lot of fun in reading in this library.
and now we are leaving and uh, I have to remind you don't forget to tap your card or scan uh, the mobile ID when you are leaving. Once we come to the basement, the, these refundable lockers are mainly for the public readers because they are not allowed to bring personal items inside the library. And on the other side, there is a prayer room here because we want to take care of our students and the faculty. The library provides a prayer room in the basement. NTU members can ask the Office of International Affairs for the past uh, and as for public users, they should apply for it at the checkpoint in this library, so they can come to the prayer room temporarily. On the other side, students may rent a locker for long-term use. For long-term use, because those those kind of long-term use locker are near to our 24-hour study room. So you can see, this is our 24-hour study room. Uh, all the furniture is in the same style as those in the old library period. It's kind of a shared memory on campus. This room is only for NTU students, faculty, and uh, alumni. Eight, uh, eight and 2200 seats are, av are available inside. There are three steps before you come in. First, have your NTU card or scan the mobile ID, then select a seat. Second, uh, tap or scan to enter. Then third, tag the seat you selected. Noticeably, there are two areas in this 24-hour study room. Area A is laptop friendly, so you can use your devices in area A. And area B is for quiet reading, so you are not allowed to use laptops or other devices in area B. On the other side of the study room is this is the discussion area. You don't need to make a reservation for it. Just come and tap your NTU card to get in. Also, there is a copy center for your convenience. You can do some copies in this center. There will be some personnel there for you. And these are inside design of our 24 hour study room. Now we are looking at the Taiwan in Indigenous People's Resource Center. This center collects research and the publication regarding Taiwan indigenous peoples. So uh, no matter you are an NTU member or you are a public reader, uh, if you are 18 years old, you can apply for the pass and get in. The next stop is the NTU Press Bookstore. It sells NTU publication and sometimes course assigned readings. This bookstore also sells campus and the library souvenirs. It's a very nice place to explore. And finally, this online tour comes to the end. Welcome to stop by and discover the library more. Hope to see you soon.